In this video, we're going to explore how the strength of the battery and the number of loops of wire affects the strength of our electromagnet. So what I've done is I've taken three bolts and I've wrapped the wire around 10, 20, and 30 times. And we're going to explore how the number of loops affects the strength of our electromagnet. So I have two batteries here. I have a C battery and a much bigger D battery. And we're gonna explore how the strength of our battery affects the strength of our electromagnet. To build my electromagnet, I'm gonna take the wire and I'm going to tape the negative end with a piece of wire. And then I'm going to take the positive end and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna attach it with a piece of tape to the positive end, just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my electromagnet and attempt to pick up some paper clips. I've got one. Let's repeat the process, but let's use a D battery instead. So what did we learn from our investigation? What did you notice about the number of loops and how it affected the strength of the electromagnet? When we switched to a larger battery, what did you notice about the strength of the electromagnet?